today we are doing some Christmas decor shopping. Christmas is literally my favorite time of the year. Like, I just love it so much. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas movies. Name a Lifetime Christmas movie your girl has seen it. I like, and probably like five or six times. Literally every single Lifetime Christmas movie. Last year, if you watched my Vlogmas, which I didn't even finish Vlogmas, and let's be honest, this year I'm probably not even gonna attempt to do Vlogmas from a vlogging every single day perspective. But if you watch my Vlogmas, the few videos that I put out last year, you will see that I feel like my decor, specifically my tree, was just an utter fail. What I had in my mind, it just, it was not executed well at all. So this year I just have a much better plan for what I wanna go for this year, the type of decor that I want, how I wanna decorate the tree, all that kind of stuff. So similar to last year, I do want to go for more neutral colors. When it comes to Christmas decor for me, I like the decor to look like it could be in my home all year round if it was not Christmas themed, if that makes any sense. So using tones like beiges, champagnes, browns, blacks, greens, very neutral colors that kind of fit well into my current home decor. So I'm gonna keep it very neutral and I'm also gonna keep it very minimal. While I love Christmas and while I love Christmas decor, I'm not really a believer in spending a crap ton of money on home decor that's seasonal. I like to invest in home decor that I can use all year round. And when it comes to like seasonal Christmas decor specifically, I like it to be minimal, but I like it to still make a statement, if that makes any sense. So I want each piece to work a little bit harder for me as opposed to just having a bunch of stuff everywhere. This year we have decided to get a real tree, which there's just nothing like the smell of a real tree. Granted, there's also nothing like the mess of a real tree, but I don't know. I think it's worth it sometimes. It's something about a real tree that just elevates the Christmas atmosphere. And if you know, you know. And I feel like most people know. And then I also made a list of places that I want to go to do shopping just because there's so many different options to choose from here in Atlanta. So I think I wanna go to, of course, Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. I've actually already gone there to both of those places and picked up a couple of items that I'll show y'all at the end of this vlog when I do the haul of all the other stuff that I plan on getting today. So Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. I'm debating about CB2. I love CB2. However, last year when I went there for Christmas decor, they actually, no, actually, they had a couple of really good pieces that I liked. They're just a little bit more expensive than I like to spend on seasonal home decor. Like I'll shop there for regular home decor any day. Seasonal home decor, I'm just not sure. So I haven't decided if I wanna go to CB2. I do wanna go to Crate and Barrel though because I've never done Christmas decor shopping at Crate and Barrel. And then Target is also somewhere that I wanna go. I kinda also wanna hit Walmart. I feel like people underestimate Walmart and I kinda wanna go there. I think they'll have really good like big ornaments, lights, those sorts of things, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go to Target first. And if I don't find everything I need at Target, I'll go to Walmart. Realistically, I'm not gonna go to all these stores. I'm probably gonna hit like three, maybe four. I'm gonna go to the Linux area because that has Crate and Barrel, Target, Home Goods, kind of all in the same vicinity. So those will be like some quick hits. And then after that, I'll try Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Why is my voice? My voice is always cracking. And then after that, I'll try Hobby Lobby and maybe Walmart. And then I can kind of be done because I don't want to be going all over the world in 80 days. I ain't got time.
of these do you like better? This one and this one. Or do you like or do you like this angel? Uh-huh. Or do you like this one? For the angel. Or do you like this one? I, know. I like the angel as one. I like that as two. You like the angel most, this one? Yeah. Okay. So, I went to Target. I browsed really quickly through Crate and Barrel. And Target had a lot of good stuff. Mostly for the tree. I didn't really find a whole lot of general decor to put on the mantle, on the coffee table, that kind of stuff more so like tree decoration so i picked up the lights and some ornaments and stuff also got a tree topper i didn't get anything from crate and barrel however i what i did get is some inspo so a lot of like the decor is very modern and sleek and minimal so i took a lot of videos and pictures of the decor because i feel like a lot of the stuff that i saw there i have seen in target i have seen in home goods i have seen in hobby lobby so i think what i'm going to do is just add those pictures to my inspo board and just buy the decor at other places now i'm at home goods i'm about to run in here we're not going to get everywhere on the list i ain't even gonna hold y'all because it's already 3 14 i'm gonna be <laughs> The way I'm about to be stuck in Atlanta traffic, oh, I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm gonna go to Home Goods, and then after I go in here, I'm just gonna go to Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna call it a day. Let me see what else I still need to get. So I got tree lights, I can check that off. I got large ornaments, I can check that off. Some of this stuff I do also feel like I may end up ordering off of Amazon. Ultimately, what I'm still kind of looking for are stockings, if I can find stockings, and table decor. Garland, I do wanna go to Hobby Lobby because I saw on TikTok there's like this viral garland from Hobby Lobby and it's it looks very real and it's also very like flexible. I hate stiff garland, I cannot stand stiff garland so Hopefully they have it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. We'll see. Because y'all, the folks be buying this stuff up. If something is on TikTok, it sells out. We'll see. And then the tree stand, I'm going to wait to get that. Because I didn't realize that tree stands come in different sizes based on how big your tree is. So I'm going to wait until we get the tree. And probably the same day we get the tree, we'll like stop and get the, um, the tree stand so that we can stand the tree up, but I don't wanna get it now because I don't know what the size of the tree is gonna be. I'm gonna put stars next to everything that I'm gonna wait on or buy from Amazon. And let's go into home goods. This is your North Pole weatherman, Blizzard Bob, reporting live from the front seat. You're listening to EMN or Health mm -hmm. School Fuel Tide. This is your North Pole. It is the next day. I got stuck in traffic yesterday and I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I got back so late. I was so exhausted. I could not do a haul of the things that I picked up yesterday. I literally ate and knocked out. So it's the next day. Let's do a little haul of all the Christmas decor that I got. I probably got about half of the things and I still need to pick up another half. Let's start out with Target because most of the stuff that I got was from Target. 
right now they're doing 30 to 40 percent maybe even 50 percent i can't remember but there's definitely a sale on all of their wonder shop christmas decor so if you need lights if you need a christmas tree if you need a christmas tree topper literally anything in their wonder shop line is on sale right now so I picked up a good amount of stuff and I really didn't even spend that much money at all. The first thing I picked up, I kind of told y'all yesterday in the car, but I picked up a bunch of lights from Target and I was kind of debating between Target and Walmart just because I know Walmart is obviously very affordable for lights, but these were all either 30 or 40% off. So I got them for a dollar and some change per box. And this is what they look like. They are just the clear lights and they're like a warm light. They had some that were more of a white, almost a daylight sort of light or like a warm daylight light. But I like just more ambient lighting from a Christmas tree. So I got six packs of these. I got three that are twinkling lights and then I got three that are just regular lights that don't twinkle. I don't know how many boxes we're gonna need because I don't know how big the tree is gonna be but I think six should do. Any more than six, we're just gonna have to stretch it. There's that right there. And then I also picked up a tree topper. So I was debating between three different tree toppers. This one, I think it was like 10 bucks or 14 bucks, one or the other. It was between this one and then there were two really cute star ones. And I just FaceTimed my husband. I was like, which one do you like of the three? So typically if I'm kind of indecisive on home decor, I'll just let him be the deciding factor because I just narrow it down to what I like. And then from there, I'll let him give his input. So he said he really liked the angel. I really like the angel too. So this is the one that I went with and it just looks like this. And in the corner, you can see this is what it'll look like when it's on the top of the tree. And then also for the tree, I got this tree skirt. This is like a knit sweater material. As you can see, it very much gives sweater vibes, which I thought would be nice and kind of cozy for the tree. So I got this. I did get a tree topper, pre or not a tree topper. I did previously get a tree skirt situation from Hobby Lobby. So whichever one I don't use, I will end up returning. But I really like this one. And I think this will go with the color scheme and theme of the house, just because it's a simple cream color. So got this. This I wanna say was maybe 20 bucks or 21 bucks. And then I also picked up a bunch of ornaments from Target as well. So pretty much from Target, I just got a bunch of stuff for the tree for the most part. Um, so I picked up this one right here. This is an M, why is it not focusing? This one is an M because my married last name starts with an M. Fun fact, I have not changed my last name. I don't think I'm gonna change my last name because I really, really, really love my last name. This is a whole conversation for another day. Maybe we'll talk about it in the vlog. Either way, um, I got this uh, M ornament right here. I wasn't a fan of the fact that it's silver. They did have a gold one, didn't like it. This is just the font of this is so elegant to me that I preferred this one. And I think silver will look right on the tree just because it's more of a champagne as opposed to a true gold theme. And then I also picked up these two, uh-oh, wait, this, mm -mm, hold up. I mean, I guess from the front it's not messed up, but on the back of it, look, there's, it's like torn right here. And then there's also a mark, like a dark mark right here. I don't know about that. But I got these two little angel ornaments. They only had two left. These were pretty much completely sold out at the Target that I went to, but I just thought these were really cute, very, minimal but still very nice very elegant and they go with the color theme or color scheme of the tree this year really cute and i think they're gonna look really nice on the tree next i picked up these ornaments from target as well these are that same sort of velvet material but they're in different shades of brown so you have like a darker brown here sort of a warmer brown here and then a lighter brown here I don't know if y'all can see that. 
So as soon as I saw these, I had to get them because the shapes are interesting, the size is big, and again, just the texture is a very interesting and fun texture. And I just think against the other ornaments and the lights, there's just gonna be a lot of interesting elements to the tree, if you will. I actually got two packs of these and there are six in a pack, so we have 12 of these. And these out were about $7, they were $10 with 30% off. So a almost a dollar per, or about a dollar per ornament is not terrible to me. I forgot to turn on the fire. Dang, I forgot to turn on the fire this whole time. Now we have a little bit more of the mood. And last but not least from Target, y'all know I'm indecisive. So I saw these in the first Target that I went to and decided not to buy them. I thought they were a little, a little expensive, just a little expensive. And then I went to another Target and I saw them again and I was like, I really like these, but I'm not gonna get them. Then I went to Crate and Barrel and I saw some very similar styled decorations for four times the price. And then I was like, okay, the Target ones are not, they are not expensive then. So I went to a third Target and I got these. Dang, this thing is wrapped. She wrapped this thing good. So essentially it's these two Christmas tree statues, if you will. They are glass, so they will definitely break if they fall. I love a good Christmas, like asymmetrical, minimal, modern looking Christmas tree decor item. So I got like a bigger one and a smaller one and they'll just kind of like sit side by side next to each other. Again, these will either go on the coffee table or on our console table. They're just so pretty. They're, I just love them so much. And there's also this kind of brown detailing in them. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's kind of this brown detailing throughout and the larger one was $25 and the smaller one was $20. So the pair was $45. That was it for Target. Next, let's move on to, let's do Hobby Lobby. Um, so from Hobby Lobby, these are the things that I picked up. Did I get these from Hobby? I did get these from Hobby Lobby. This is the first um, pack of ornaments that I got. This was in the more champagne gold section of Hobby Lobby decor. So the way that they do like separate their decor is by color or by theme. So they have a white section, a silver section, a pink section, a brown section, a peppermint red and white section, a pink section, literally every single color that you could pop. I mean, maybe not every single color you could probably think of, but the most popular colors to decorate for Christmas, they have a section for. So I got these out of the like champagne goldy type of section and this is what they look like. I just thought these looked so elegant and I think they're gonna look really, really pretty up against the Christmas lights. I think there's gonna be a really nice shine and sparkle that sort of reflects off of these. So I thought that these would be a really nice, fun element to add to the Christmas tree. And I think they go pretty well with these. I think these are so pretty. Honestly, I probably should have gotten two of these. I may go back and get a second one now that I think about it. Dang it. These were $9.99, so with 50% off, they were $5. If you don't know, Hobby Lobby does 50% off of all of their Christmas decor. I also picked these up and these are snowflake ornaments. Um, what I really like about these again is the shine that I think that they're gonna give off from reflecting the Christmas tree lights. But I also really like the icy feel of them because I do want like a frosty element, if you will. I may even flock the tree, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I picked these up just to give it that sort of like cold element and then in that same vein, I also picked up some icicles as well. So this is what the icicles look like. And they're just kind of these clear icicles with kind of silver sparkles throughout that just, I don't know, give it more of an icicly feel or element to it. These were $6.99, so 350 
these were $4.99, so $2.50 each. Also from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this, is it like a tree skirt? What is this? A, a tree collar. So it's not a material, it's more of like a basket look. Let me know which one y'all like more and which one y'all think I should go with. I'm kind of leaning towards the skirt as opposed to the collar, but I don't know, there's something about the collar that just looks very clean to me. However, there's something about the basket look and the basket feel of this that feels a little bit more farmhouse chic. I don't know, honestly, I think either one of them could work out, but let me know what y'all think. Should I go with the Christmas tree collar or the Christmas tree skirt? What should I do? And then last but not least from Hobby Lobby, I picked up some stocking hangers or stock, what are these called? stocking holder so basically you put these on your mantle and then your stocking hangs from them for my dog i'm probably going to do like just a regular command strip or something and i still need to find his stocking because i want like a little cute pet stocking i don't want his to be regular i want you to be able to tell that it's for a dog next let's move on to joanne's because i did stop at joanne's i picked up these little reindeer a grown version and a baby version and I plan on kind of just like sitting them right next to each other. These things, I'm not even gonna hold you, they were a little, they were a little pricey in my opinion just for the size. However, these things are heavy. Like, I could do a little weight situation with these. Like they're very good quality. This one was $24.99, this one was $19.99, but they were both 50% off. Also, Joann's did not have a ton of Christmas decor out yet. They had like one aisle worth of Christmas decor. I'm sure at some point later on, they're gonna put out more, but there just was not a lot to choose from at all. I was very surprised because last year, when I went to Joann's for Christmas, they had so much stuff out, literally so much stuff. So I'm sure at some point, maybe over the next like week or two, they'll start putting out more Christmas decor. But right now, it was very, very minimal. And then last but not least, I went to Home Goods. Similar to Joann's, Home Goods did not have a ton of like they had a good amount of stuff, but compared to what I'm used to when it comes to Christmas decor at Home Goods, maybe it was just the one I went to, but they just did not have a ton of stuff but i was able to at least find our stockings so this i just got like two matching stockings and they are this sort of like a blue, blue clay not blue clay they're sort of a blue clay material or a sherpa material this is what the material looks like and yeah they're just like a regular white whitish cream sort of minimal, simple stocking that will go up here. Oh, that is gonna look so good when I put those up. And then last but not least, I also got this uh, like marble Christmas tree item. This is what it looks like. And it's just tabletop decor. To know me is to know that I love a good green marble. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, this is coming home with me. This literally matches my coffee table so well, yeah. Love this little piece. I do still need to get candles. I need to get the tree stand, which we will get once we actually get the Christmas tree so we know what size the tree stand needs to be. Garland, girl. I went to Hobby Lobby hoping and wishing and praying that I could find that viral TikTok garland from there. Girl, sold out. She, she, the, the lady was like, it has been sold out for a while. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for Garland for the staircase. I may have to try and order some online and then just wrapping paper and ribbon. I did see a couple that I liked, but I, I want something very specific. So I'm gonna keep looking and hunting for the wrapping paper that I want. That is it for my Christmas 2023 home decor haul i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope it was helpful and i hope that i was at least able to provide a bit of insight into what the stores have and what i'm going for this year as far as christmas christmas decor in my home trying to keep it very minimal trying to keep it very simple trying to keep it very cost effective as soon as we get the tree i will likely go ahead and decorate the tree as well as the rest of the house for christmas That'll probably be in the next couple days or like this weekend. 
at the latest early next week so definitely look out for a video on like a decorate with me for christmas and yeah i will see y'all in my next video peace Oh, mm -hmm.